Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I was trying to keep my desk a little bit clean for this video, but unfortunately is a little bit messy. So just, you'll see, you'll probably see stuff sticking out around the edges, but what can we do about that? We're just going to have to focus on what's in front of us. I know I've been MIA lately, but I have been super, super, super busy working on some projects. This is one of them. And then I have a whole series of Halloween journals that I'm not going to show you in this video, but I will give you a preview when we finish looking through this. So stay tuned till the end and I'll show you also what I've been working on. So this um, junk journal here, it is, I'm going to call it a TN size, but it's a little bit bigger. Um, the covers measure eight and a half by four and a half, but the pages actually uh, measure the eight and a quarter by four and a quarter, the TN, the size of the TN should be. So, I mean, I don't know if this is going to fit in a traveler's notebook, but I mean, it works really well as a standalone journal too. This one, actually, let me take off this so we can look at the cover here. I, was, I did something a little different. As you can see there, we do have two signatures, um, but it is a soft cover, and the spine is, like, rounded. Usually when I have more than one signature, it's like a square spine. I wanted to try this just to see, you know, what would, um, what would uh, how it would look, really. Sorry, I had to pause the video for a second. Um, now I forget where I was, but uh, let's get right back into it. So this one here, I did cover it with the um, upholstery fabric, and it's that gold flowery type, I don't know, thingy. But on the front here, this is um, a page from... The kit that I used and uh, it's a new person that I found on Etsy and the shop's name is TLC Creates Vintage. I always call it something different but I'll leave a link below so you can see but she has some really nice journaling kits um, or you know to make uh, journals and stuff and um, I caved in and I bought this one. This one's called The Pink and Gold collection or the gold and pink pink and gold or gold and pink but I don't remember but everything is really obviously as you can tell gold and pink but I thought it would work really well with this fabric and on the spine here I wrapped some lace just to you know kind of make it a little fancier looking and I left this edge that comes on the fabric there's one side where it's like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It was like the edge of the fabric, but I like the way that kind of makes the side of the page look. So let's get in. So I backed it also. Um, so that's here's um, just, I printed this on cardstock, but I cut it out just to have the front. Under that is the fabric. Under the fabric is some cardstock. And then on the back of the cardstock is more cardstock, but I printed this paper from the kit. This is one of the pages from the kit. And I hope I'm close enough. I think I am. Let me see if I can get in a little closer. There we go. Um, all right, so I use the same page because I just love this image so much. So that's also the first page. And um, on the back of the pages, I used some there. Like this one is pink and there's lines on it. I don't think you can see it because it's very faint. But it's lined paper. And I got that from... Ephemera's Vintage Garden um, off her website. So there's that, and there's also another one, but it's um, like that coffee-colored dye paper, but I'll show you when we get there. So here we have a little pocket. This flips up so you can journal over the whole thing there. I added some lace around the edges and then a vintage button. And then in the pocket here, this is a journaling card that came with the kit. And then this is one that I just had, um, I don't remember where I got this from. I want to say it might have been a Fremers Vintage Garden, but I'm not 100% sure. It's just on my computer, and I saw it, and I saw the pink flower, so I figured it would go well. And then we have a little tag there. And then um, here is some more of the pink paper here um, that was printed off. 
And then I just decorated this. I just added a little applique flower and some lace right there. And another piece from the kit. And this one also, this journal has two sheets of vintage music paper. And they're from a book from the from 1938. That's right. And actually the copyright's on the other side of the page back there somewhere. So, um, And in the book, there was some writing and pencil. I didn't take it off. I left it because I just thought it looked really, really neat. And then here we have one of these little glassine bags that I found and it was just big enough to put this little tag in here and this little ticket and both of these I got from and you know what I still have her oh, excuse my arm jeesh here right here scrappy lolly paper co and that's what it's on Etsy but I love her shop and um, when I bought one of her little kits this came in it so it's tiny and it goes in this tiny little bag here. And with my new camera set up, I don't I can't get so close. Uh, there we go. But see, it's a tiny little envelope. And um this is the first time I used one of my stamps. This one's from Canada, but it was a pink flower, so I thought it was perfect. And then behind that I have this little envelope it doesn't have anything in it it's empty but you can put whatever you want in it and this little envelope came from Luna Rosu on Etsy and um, she has this little kit that has like the they're all like little flowers and stuff like this um, and there's a couple envelopes but this is the tiny envelope and I really like that one and I kind of thought it went with the book so so see how this one is like a coffee dyed looking paper and it has the lines on it. So that's the other paper that I got from um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. And then here, oh, my trash is falling. I have a little trash cup that I put like the little pieces, like, you know, when you're working, you're cutting off little things and the trash can isn't right next to you. I put a little cup on my desk and I just throw that in and when I'm finished with the project, I dump it in the trash, but I accidentally knocked it over. See, this new setup is really hard because, like, the tripod legs are, like, right here. So I can't, it doesn't go any further. But hopefully you're able to see this well. Um, here's a little flip-up that you can journal in. Have some little lace here with a little flower. And this uh, also came from TLC Creates Vintage. It wasn't in this kit here. It was a little extra that she sent to me, which I thought was really cool. But, again, it had pink and gold in it, so I thought it was good. Here is a um, journaling card. And I don't know where I got that one. Sorry. can't remember. And some avocado dyed paper. Though in my camera, it doesn't look avocado dyed. See, here's another pink and gold. It's all pink and gold, which I absolutely love. And then with some of the cutoffs, I did one little flip up and a flip down so you can journal all through here. And this here is avocado dye paper. It's pink. And then I added the little pink um, trim here with a pink button and some little crocheted lace underneath. And then in here, um, this is one of the pages. Oh, which way does it go? Can't remember. Maybe this way. Mm, could be upside down. I'm not really sure, but I shrunk the page down so I could use it as a journaling card. More writing space. And here is the middle, and I chose this as the middle for because it just kind of all went together. And then obviously you see how the um, flower petals go off onto this page. I just didn't want it to, um, I don't know. I just wanted this to be the whole spread. So I thought that was really cool. And then here is another flip up and flip down. And this one, I put some beaded trim across there with some pink lace in the back. And then this holds, um, so this is actually what the middle was, but I shrunk it down and I made it into a journaling card. And then this little tag here, I got from my friend Alicia. And it does have a hole to put string, but I thought that it was nice just to kind of hang out in the pocket just like that. So I didn't put any string in it. And then here's another little flip up. I'm sorry. 
And in this pocket here, oh, so here's one of the pages that I shrunk down. Oh, I think it goes this way. But you can use it for a journaling card. And then this here is a little vintage letter. It's from 1947. It's addressed to Mr. Felix Sack um, in Chicago, Illinois. And there's a three cent postage stamp on it. And inside is just a little, um, kind of like an RSVP. We are delighted to accept your invitation and we will be present at the reception. I thought that was so cute and I love this little paper. I mean, I don't know these days if you can send something so small, but it's just so adorable. It's really cute. So I just tucked it right into that pocket there. And here is another, this is an embossed envelope. And again, I got this one from Scrappy Lolly Paper Co. And if you can see the little bird there on the flowers. And inside here, I have another little tag. And this tag I also got from my friend Alicia. And this I did put a little tie on it. And then you can tuck that right back in and it clips back on there and here's the other side of the music paper and see it says copyright no you can't see that there we go copyright 1938 by Theodore Presser Co company and another little flip up here so you can journal there um, here we have, I think these are Project Life cards. I don't even remember where I got these from, but I found a few of these just randomly when I was cleaning. So it's, you know, pinkish flower, so I added it here. And then a journaling card that I made from the papers on the kits. And an, oops, another journaling card. Some more writing space and so that is the section between them and they're the same paper so it kind of like brings it into this next section so the next section here is also a little flip up that you can journal on there and I also made it a tuck spot with these two journaling cards in there and all the journaling cards are blank on the back so you can journal <laughs> and I love the way and I wish the camera picks this up but I, I know because I'm pretty sure I can see from the top and it's really washed out pink but this is a nice color pink the way this one died here and here's a second uh, sheet of music paper and again on the back you know what let me just zoom down see if I can do that there we go so another little envelope with those two things inside and then a little tiny notebook paper so you can make little tiny lists and then you tuck it behind the little tiny pocket. And now we can go back. Oh, no, no. There we go. We'll go back out. Oh, there. And here's a corner tuck. And these are also um, cards that I got from um, Scrappy Lolly. And they're embossed, as you can see. And some more journaling cards in there. And then I just also sewed a little, vintage, not sewed, glued a little vintage button on the bottom. This kit, I mean, I just love this paper here. This is my favorite sheet. Um, but I printed it out, cut it in half to make pockets. So here we have a journaling card and then some vintage office paper. And then that all tucks right back inside. And here's the center, and I use this as a center for obvious reasons also. I just thought this whole image had to stay together. And then again, I use the cover piece again because I just, this is my favorite part. And the bird, you know. But I love it, love it, love it. And then another corner tuck here with two journaling cards. Some more lined paper there. The other side of the vintage music sheet, copyright 1938. And here's a little writing on the top in pencil, 
which I think is just so cool because I don't know what year the person would have written. Um, it's in pencil, not pen, so it's kind of like you're not really sure, but I just think it's cool. And so here is another little flip where you can journal. Flips down. That is uh, like the other ones. And another little tag from Alicia. And then that is the end. And that is the back. So this is my, I call it the birdie journal. Um, because of the bird. And it is available in my Etsy now. If you are interested, I'll leave the link below. And I will also leave the link to uh, TLC Creates Vintage and Scrappy Lolly Paper Co. Because these little kits that she had that I bought, they're just perfect for grabbing and adding to journals as you go. But I did promise that I would show you a sneak peek of my Halloween stuff. Not a walkthrough, just a sneak peek. So let me grab them. Okay, so you see I've been quite busy. Um, oops, I'm not even in frame. There we go. With my journal making. So these three journals are the standard um, TN size of eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And the little ones here, they are also a standard size of the field note size journals. So it's um, five and a half by three and a half. And I'll just give you a little look at the covers. So here is the witch's ball. And I put a little lace, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little fluffy lace at the bottom with the black button. Um, here's the back. So there's that one. Because they're gonna have walkthroughs, so I don't really wanna open them and everything. Um, here is witches, goblins, and ghosts, oh my. Here's the back. So those are the two little ones that I made. And now with these three, we have the jack-o'-lantern. There's the back and the top. Here is this one here, and it says, This is the night of Halloween when all the witches might be seen. And I put a little creepy cloth behind it. And then here is Frightful. And I just bunched them up kind of to look kind of like a cloud or a ghost. I'm not really sure, but... I wanted it a little bit different than this one. And look at that paper. That is so awesome. So be on the lookout for a walkthrough of those journals. Um, and that's what's been taking my time up, creating. Because I went through a whole week where I wasn't able to create anything. And then all of a sudden, they just started rolling out of my head. And this is what I made. I made these first, and then I made the birdie one. But since the birdie one is by itself, I did the walkthrough first. And I listed that one first because I thought it would just be easier than trying to figure out these also. So... Stay tuned for a walkthrough of these, and until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.